Um, he's burdened, I think, and he's angry. And I feel like the burden that he carries is, what, is the quest that was bequeathed to him by his father. He's the last of his line, so if he doesn't take this quest on board, no one else will, and his bloodline will die. That's quite a big burden to carry. But he carries it with anger because it's given to him through extreme circumstances, because the dragon threw them into exile and, and the elves turned their backs and didn't help. They are, they are on their knees, really. So uh, that's really who he is. But he, he's changing as a character because of The Hobbit, and he's looking at himself and questioning his, his morals and his ideals. Yeah, you see it um, quite clearly in, in movie two because of what happens with the spiders, with the, with the uh, elven dungeons and uh, Bilbo finding the staircase. These moments um, mean that Bilbo becomes a great asset to him rather than a liability. So he has to change his perception. But as soon as he gets into the mountain, the, the madness kicks in and you realize that this relationship is going to be much more complicated than you think. I think fighting the dragon inside the mountain was the most challenging because there was no mountain, there was no dragon. It was a green box and a green ball on a stick. Um, so I had to create the dragon in my mind with various you know, pictures and music, whatever it was I was using to, to find the dragon. So seeing it um, finally realized in the movie is surpassing my expectations and I hope the audience feel the same. It is great fun, actually, because Peter, he's really hands-on. He, he, he lives in a little tent because he's watching the monitors, but he'll come out and uh, he, he loves acting, so he'll have a crack at showing you what he wants you to do. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I mean, I seem to remember one, one moment in last year when he was running down a, a tree trying, trying to show me how to run and his trousers <laughs> fell down and just things like that. It's just constant, you know, amusement. It changed actually from, from going into the movie to going back this year for pickups because I realized the amount of work that I had to do in order to play the role that, in the way that I wanted. And I knew that by the end of the third film, he needed to be uh, revealing himself as the warrior that he's, he's talked of and fight in a way that he's never fought before. So I trained harder for the, for the pickups and that was six months of, uh, of gym training and working on my back and my knees and my wrists and my shoulders to, so that I could move that sword around in the way that I wanted and it was constant you have to maintain it while you're working so you're always working on a tired body um, and trying to feed yourself well and uh, you know not drink too much alcohol. I hope so I really do and I really hope that they leave thinking I want to know what happens next. I want to know, because we do know how the story ends, but we want to find out how they get there. Um, so, yeah, but, but I'm really grateful for that support and interest.